Let's take a look at the hymn, Stand Up For Jesus. I'm gonna give you three creative ideas to add to this hymn in three different parts. So check out today's tip. For part three of looking at Stand Up For Jesus, which was requested by a follower, we're gonna give you an idea that you can use for maybe a bigger section of the hymn, the final verse for really emphasis. And this is gonna be where we play a unison melody. So both hands will be playing the melody and notice my right hand is playing an octave, my left hand is playing a single note, we're not filling in the chord, and we're gonna start each downbeat, so we have stand up, and we're gonna come down and chord it, and I'm gonna come down again and chord here right after that downbeat, and I'm gonna keep in my left hand the pedal tone, so I'm gonna continue on that B flat all the way through to the end of the phrase, Even though the melody does soldiers, we're gonna skip the second part of that. We're gonna play the chord while they're singing soldiers of the. We'll come in on that. And then on cross, hit that single note, and then come down, and this is where we'll break away from this pattern. And then you can lead into something else if you'd like there. All right, let's put that in real time. on this hymn, especially since it's a march-like call to action, really big hymn on that final verse. If this video has helped you, please like it, share it with others, and let us know. If you're looking for more resources as a church pianist, we have several available, including our hymn playing workbooks one and two, which will help guide you in your hymn playing journey, as well as workbooks that deal with chord substitutions, key changes, and more. Check that out at newmercysmusic.com.